I've now spoken in some detail to one of these men, Ayub Kasim, who was known as Johnny Vegas. And I've also identified the other the male that was with him, but I've not yet spoken to him. Ayub has provided me with his account of what he says happened on that morning, Monday the 17th of June. He says he was on the strip, Jay wanted to carry on partying, and he said he had nowhere to, to stay, so he said he could come back to his. They say in the car, they played music and chatted before stopping to get a drink at a cafe, at a shop, just prior to entering the mountains. He says he was driving, his friend was in the passenger seat, and Jay was in the back. They say on arrival at the rental, his friend opened the door, went into the left, and went straight to sleep. Jay walked in behind, followed him, and when gone inside, they went upstairs, and Ayub then said to Jay, Spiff is yours, here's a towel, here's a blanket, have a shower if you want. Jay asked for a cigarette, and Ayub said, I've got some camel cigarettes, and put one on the side. Jay then asked for a phone charger. He said, go into my friend's room, he's asleep, take his charger, and you can put your phone on charge. There was no charging point by the sofa. Ayub says he then goes to sleep and he's woken by a buzzer. Ayub says he comes down the stairs. Jay says to him, what's that annoying noise, which was the doorbell. Ayub says he opens the door and speaks to a woman and a man and they gestured that he needed to move his car. Ayub says he gets into his car and he's starting to move it and he looks in the rearview mirror and he sees Jay talking to a woman. He's got his trainers on, so he's about to leave. Jay then says to Ayub, having moved the car, the woman says, I can get a bus every 10 minutes. And Ayub says, he says to him, mate, just chill out. I'll drop you off in town when I wake up properly. He went, no, 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 no. I'm hungry. I need to get a scram. And the woman told me I can get a bus every 10 minutes to Los Cristianos. Ayub says, he replies, there's no bus coming. This is my green door. If you need me, he says he shut the door. Jay walks away and he goes back to sleep. He then says he gets a call from a friend of Jay's who says that he's in a ditch somewhere and he's been cut by a cactus. The evidence still strongly supports that Jay left the Airbnb suddenly, walked for 30 minutes before wandering off-road where at 0849 and 0850 on the Monday he dropped a location pin. However, as part of this investigation, we have sought to identify and speak with as many people that Jay had contact with whilst in Tenerife. The result of this digging has opened up an established criminal network with links to drugs, violent crime and theft. You will appreciate that at this stage, I cannot expand any further on what we now know. However, at this stage, I'm unable to say if this network has anything to do with Jay's disappearance, but remain open minded as we continue to investigate. I've had no involvement with the physical search. Mine has been the investigation. But to help, I've asked my team to pull together an interactive map which will show the areas that have been searched, both by the Guardian Seville local search and rescue teams and a local search team who were joined by TikToker Callum. That team have been very crucial in terms of covering areas on foot. I also want to reach out to anybody else that searched the area. Please provide me with your records of search areas and then I can put that into a map and we can have as good a definitive map as possible. My thoughts at this time remain with Jay's family and friends. Now that is interesting. Because we've been saying for a while now, there's a criminal side to this. There's drugs involved. There's violence involved. You know what I mean? And yet, the Spanish police let three of the main vital witnesses to Jay Slater going missing leave the country. I am going to leave it at that because there's not much more I can say. He said it all. Apart from, do we really believe what Ayub Cuisine says? Do we? He's a criminal. He's a drug dealer. 
and he booked that Airbnb, I heard, 90 minutes before they actually arrived. He booked it for, I've also heard this as well, that he booked it for three days. Then I heard he only booked it for one night. Then I've heard he only booked it for a few hours. Right, I don't know how true any of that is. Because again, we're getting conflicting stories. Now, we've been looking for this Johnny Vegas, who is now AKA Cuisine. So, who was that other guy in the car? Why has he not come forward? Why has Brandon, his other friend, not come forward and said something? They are all now, I believe, back in the UK. Apart from Jay's mother and father and family, and I believe Rachel. I'm not sure if Rachel's back, whether she come back with her son Brad. But this is unacceptable. This case should have been started as a criminal investigation from day one. Not just as a missing person. We, The only information we ever have, we ever get, is from people who are trying to distance themselves from Jay Slater. Lucy. I left early, alone. Brad, I went back to my apartment. I was tired. He left it. Uh, Jay decided to carry on party with these two guys. He distanced himself. Cuisine, he left. He arrived at this Airbnb alive and he left alive. That was it. Never seeing him again. Distancing. Now, a photo came out on Cuisine's, I believe it was his Instagram account. I was too late. By the time I found out about it, it'd gone private. But um, I got off on the other side of Cuisine and two other guys who I believe is Brad and possibly Brandon, not sure, but two other guys standing on those white pillows that are around the edge of the road. Right? So, why? Mocking to me, like, oh, look, we're looking, we're looking. Right? They was mocking the fact that Jay has gone missing. Now, if I was a mother, when I got there, I'd be wanting to speak to Lucy. Brad and Brandon. And I'll be going, until I get the truth out of you three, you're not going anywhere. In fact, the only place you'll be going is to the local police station to tell them what happened. Four of you come on holiday, three of you are going home. One's missing. Where is he? What happened that night? And no lies. No fob stories, no, oh, he phoned me, oh, he texted me, oh, he sent me this. None of that. I want the truth because I would be adamant to get the truth out of them three squealy little toe rags he was with. And as for Cuisine, who's that other guy who was with? Why isn't he spoke out? He's a mystery guy. Why did you? Law enforcement, Spanish law enforcement, let them to leave the country. Hmm? Why? No investigation was going on at all. And now, all of a sudden, they go and do a search of the Airbnb two weeks after he went missing. That's a joke. That's an effing joke. I, pair, I feel for these parents. I feel for the father who's out there. With, ten, with his family and whatever, searching those mountains. So they've got no 
uh, experience of walking around mountains like that, but they're doing it. They are out there doing it. They are boots on the ground. Okay, I understand the mother can't do it. Fair enough. But the only time you hear of the mother, now this isn't having a dig at her, you think of all the times that we've heard something about Jay come out, about Jay taking drugs, Jay being a mule, Jay uh, stealing a watch. Think of all them rumours, those nasty vile and those text messages they've been receiving about Jay. Not once has she spoke out about that, but as soon as someone mentions the GoFundMe, oh, she'll come out and put a statement out about that. Why not defend your son, sweetheart? Defend your son. We are here keeping his name and picture out there. The Spanish police, I suppose, would just want this to die down and go away. Let me know in the comments what you think. And I will be back tomorrow. Thank you for being here today. I really do appreciate you all being here. And please like this video. It helps. Share and subscribe. Till later. Good night.